Hello YouTube, Infinite Match, great community, Gandalf here. Battle for Glory is probably the most punishing PvP content the game has released so far. It is incredibly challenging, um, so I hope you're prepared for this. Um, the rewards are decent. Uh, we do get blind boxes if they have gifted us those earlier on. And you can see you're expected to be able to get five of these per week from the from the Medal of Glory and from Coin of Glory, you should be able to pick up another three more. These are the cheapest things you can buy in here for for price for value. Um, inside here, make sure that you go check out the pick -em. here. You should be able to see a free pickup of 300 coins and then you can use these coins for bets. Now, here's the thing I'm, I don't like about this game is when you bet this, there doesn't seem to be an upper limit. I really hope they add an upper limit real soon because we see this in other type of games where you can kind of bet on the winner. Now, if you bet all of your coins and lose it, it feels awful. If you win, you get to split this pool that you see on up above for all the people that have voted for it. This is unlike you know how in um, championship when we bet. If you win, hey, you get a miracle rune. If you lose, you get some gems. Here, if you lose, you actually lose all the coins you bet. So it's a it's a zero sum game here. So be cautious on who you bet for. Now we have four teams of six, six Mystic versus two teams of Bushido in the first round here. Now, as much as the first team is very stacked, it is on it's anyone's game because of how complicated the mechanics are. And if anyone just screwed up their battle, they might not be you know, scoring as many points for their team as possible. So I really hope they win because otherwise all the people here, most of them who betted here will be losing all their coins, which could be used for something else. I'm just gonna do a minimum bet here just to wish them good luck, but I, I, I really hope they win. Um, basically, yeah, the winners split the pot, but I'm trying to figure out now, if I bet 100, somebody else buy, bid 500, I guess they will do a calculation off the ratio amount you bet. So you scale off of that, I guess. But um, can you bet a little bit on everybody? I guess you can. Wait, that makes absolutely no sense. So is the best thing to do just, no, no, you don't You don't bet a little on everybody, right? Because then the ones, the 100, you'll be lost and you scale off of the other one. Yeah, it's all very... Yeah, so, so from a betting perspective, I guess, does it make sense to bet 100 on everybody? It seems like a, like a net sum game, right? That's so weird because if you're supposed to be splitting for everybody's pot, does betting, betting on everyone equally means it, yeah, I guess you, you're guaranteed to get something back, but there's nothing to be gained and nothing to be lost, I guess. So if you bet on everyone, yeah, I, I think that's how it works, but, um, but here, basically, yeah, it's basically the odds, right? If you if you bet on this and you win, you get to split that pot with the ratio of what you bet on. Uh, if you bet something on here, you have a really good chance of you know getting it back. Now, if you want to bet on two different teams, you technically could do that as well. You just get back a little bit less, um, and you lose a little bit more. Like if none of the teams you betted on wins, it's a it's a zero sum game here, guys. Um, now, in terms of the actual battle mechanics here, oh, by the way, every day, you know, when you finish your battle is every day, this is where you can get Coins of Glory and where you can get Medal of Glory. So participation, right? All you're doing is participate. There's six days, I think, or five days of battle. Just make sure you participate. This is where you get all your coins you need uh, for, for getting the stuff in the store. All right, let's get right into the battles. Um, so... When you are presented with the combat here, um, you will be faced with uh, five different opponents. Now, if you find someone that you think you're going to have a hard time beating, you can move move this to the joint battle area. I highly recommend you check out all your opponents first and then figure out from your lineup which one you think is probably the um, the easiest to beat versus the hardest to beat. I would suggest you go after teams. So for example, this one, right? This one's a really burst heavy team. If I fight this, I have a very good chance of just getting my entire team wiped out, which is a really, really bad idea to, to fight them on this particular one. 
Um, the other part I've noticed is um, when you send an uh, enemy into the in into the middle here, uh, you are only allowed to you only allowed to send one. This was different in beta where you could send multiple teams into the middle. You can only send one now, which makes this far more challenging. Uh, you can rely on one person on your team that, you know, I was expecting week beginning to take everybody else out. Uh, and we all just move it in the middle. Obviously, it will not work like that. Um, so that means strategy wise, I apologize in the previous video. I mean, that was based on information that was known to us pre-release, right? And now with this information, it seems like you kind of want to balance your team a little bit. So now I'm kind of so. Yeah, I think this team I have right now, uh, I should be fine uh, taking care of most of them. Now, it's really important that you don't skip because any hero you lose than this, it will not be available for the next battle. So here you want to be just really careful. And there is no second chances here either, right? If you, if you, actually, if you actually mess up, right? Um, if you mess up, it is incredibly punishing because you will not be able to um, you will not be able to revive them for the next battle and they will be kind of gone until the next day. So here if you're on to the last one, like if you can even avoid killing them and take a little bit of time to heal up, that would be ideal. Here you can see you know my Morcus finished without full HP when going to the next battle, it is not gonna be full HP on Morcus. so, uh, I would ideally want to fight opponents that are maybe mid strength and then I'll pick the weakest one to kind of heal up off of here. So this is something to keep in mind of. Um, so again, that here is where I feel like maybe heroes that can revive actually will be really good. Like for example, here, Morricus will have a second life, right? Uh, and can't die instantaneously. Uh, oh boy. This is not good. Marcus is... Oh, okay, good. Marcus survived there. Um, that's the second life of Marcus. I quickly want to protect Marcus. Uh, and here, everybody shields up. This is looking real bad. Because um, this is like one of my weaker teams, right? I stacked my middle teams very hard. Um, and there I just lost someone. So this is not looking good at all. Now, if I nuke everybody, do I get, okay. So I'm down to four, four heroes now. I lost my Santa. So you can see that when I go to my next battle, I'm not going to be able to use Santa in this battle and I'm down to four. Uh oh, this is not looking good. Um, so this definitely was was misplayed. Um, I definitely should have uh, set up my teams in a di totally different way. And oh no, oh no, and uh, oh no no. So at this point, if I was fast enough to hit the um, cancel button there, or if I just closed my client before I died. This will count as a disconnect. So um, if you do have uh, a disconnect, what it will do is it will count as a battle loss. But now that I have lost all my battles, I can't even challenge the last opponent anymore. So this was a terrible run for me in this particular uh, setup. And you know I expect the rest of my battles to not go any better for the rest of the week just because of how I really stacked my team to be really strong on team number three. So here, you know, this that was my weakest team. This is my second team. So hopefully it's okay. But the problem with this particular team right now is I haven't built in any healers whatsoever. So I could, in theory, get punished really hard here because of, you know, the lack of a healer on this team. Jingle Bell there just procced. And oh, oh, oh. Okay, so here is a clear example of if I click exit here, all right? If I click exit 
I, it will be prompt. Everything will be counted as a kill. This is where you want to close the client and come back. And we'll come back in a sec. We'll edit the rest of it out. All right, we're back. So you can see here against my battle against DMAC, right? It counts as a loss, but all my heroes are still at full HP, which is great. Um, let's go over here. Okay. Fortunately enough, right, um, hopefully the other team I have a better time against. Um, this particular nuke team should work really well. But I think, yeah, I just want to make sure all the stats are right. I'm not sure what's going on, because why is my popper not... Does this not count as arena or something? Because my aura is not counting properly. How about my big jack? Yeah, my big jack speed is there. I almost feel like my gear wasn't on right or something. Um, this makes no sense. Because my um, popper is 3,500 supposedly. Okay, we nuked it down, and there we go. That's the first team. Now, I see an arrow tool there. That bothers me because I have a very... There's a possible possibility. There's a, there's a possibility, just saying, that it could go sideways. So I'm going to deal with this team first. Okay, I'm going to push them back. Now I'm going to actually boost my my bunny there so my bunny can use to be cleansed on this. And now we kill everything. Yep, perfect. Okay, uh, we are on Doshin, the last one. Um, hopefully our, we're able to take him out, right? This is this is one of those um, where we want to just check speed on the enemy. That popper, I'm still faster, but I almost want to make sure that I don't accidentally, um, you know, trigger his arrow toe there. Shoot! Come on! Oh man! Should I've just poked something else like? That, that's unfortunate anyway so here you can see if i if i exit um um you know it counts as two challenges fail so so again like it is a very brutal mechanic there is no forgiveness um this is my third team i should have a super easy time with everyone on the last one because it's my stack team but i'm against Jiro four from pulse power really um okay this team looks easy ash five looks easy Wait, I accidentally moved to the middle. It's okay. I can fight that myself afterwards. And here's Muppets. All right, let's go from Muppets up. Um, I'm almost tempted to skip. Um, maybe on this we'll skip. Uh, and it was easy. And I think Jiro, we can't skip on that. Uh, Inu. Yeah, this team we can definitely skip as well. Should be no problem. Yep. Okay. Let's let's fight the last couple of battles seriously. Ash five. I think we can skip. Right. Uh. Let's let's just be safe here. Let's just save. Fight it safely. We'll, we'll save Jiro for last. Um. Yeah. That was easy. Now I stack this team, so anybody from my allies, if they put someone into the middle, I should be able to make sure I can take them out for for uh, with no problem whatsoever. That was originally the game plan was you know I will stack one, um, we'll have you know everybody else stack one, just so that they can take care of everything. But um, it clearly didn't go according to plan, right? Like this this team is probably. It, it, it made my other two teams far too weak to a point of, you know, it's 
it it kind of really impacted the performance as you saw earlier on the other two. Um, I don't know if by sending them all over to say the likes of um, you know Week or somebody else would have made you know this so much easier. Right, this this being balanced, like like I have no problem taking down the rest of this team now. Now I really think for whatever reason my gear's not on right because there's no way my Muron is to slow. My Muron is twenty four hundred. So so honestly, I don't know how it got pick up the gear. So guys, make sure that um, when you register, I guess. Um, on the last day, check your stats during the registration phase. Don't mess around with your presets. Um, this is really abnormal how how the gear ended up this way. Um, hopefully, nobody else is having this issue. Uh, I know I know we had a bug on the gear presets a couple of days ago. Hopefully, that didn't impact anyone negatively. But clearly, for my teams, a lot of my speeds are off, so I know it's probably on the wrong gear. And I don't think there's a way for us to change gear throughout the week. So, yeah, this is going to be a brutal week for me. Anyways, hopefully, you know, all the tips in here, you know, helps. Remember to fight the battles from the weakest to strongest. If you have someone super weak, that's an opportunity for you to heal up in between battles. Uh, make sure that you, if you're not sure, it's better to send it to the middle and have somebody else take care or, or wait until nobody else is available. And then you go back and battle it out. Really talk it throughout with your with your teammates and finally you know there is the opportunity to quickly close the client uh, if you're struggling uh, and that will at least save you from you know a complete wipeout at least um, you know it only count as one loss as opposed to to all losses all right good luck everyone i'll catch you guys in the next one gandalf out